What is a prison planet? There are two big differences in this galaxy, two different systems used by two different groups, the Nebu and the Galactic Federation. The Nebu would create prison planets to enslave souls. And in the contrary, the Galactic Federation, as well as the Intergalactic Confederation, will use prison planet in a whole different concept not to enslave souls, but to liberate souls. In the first case with the Nebu, a prison planet is a hell for everyone living in, in, on it. For the Galactic Federation, a prison planet will not be a heaven, but it will not be a hell either. It will help the prisoners in a very particular way. Let me explain this to you in further detail. The Nebu Empire, located in the Orion Zone, which center is in the nebula, the hive, the hive consciousness linking them all together, receiving orders, living in order, working for order. Their vision of a prison planet is a world of a civilization lesser evolved technologically that has been enslaved, which consciousness has been blocked in his development. Their vision of a prison planet is a world where no soul can escape, where no life can reincarnate anywhere else. Souls caught in the trap of a loop of incarnations. Over and over again, never able to escape. This matrix they create is a technology. It uses black goo. It uses frequencies such as the technology that was on the moon of Earth and that has been dismantled very recently in February 2021 by the Earth Alliance. This is how the Nebu, the Grey Alliance, from the regressive cultures of the Orion Zone, keep their prisoners, blocking the evolution of consciousness and trapping their souls. For the Nebu Empire, a prison planet is a soul trap. This has for aim slavery. Let us now to the perspective of the opposite side, the opposite camp in this galaxy, the Galactic Federation of Worlds. For them, a prison planet is not a soul trap. In the contrary, is a soul liberation place. It's a penitentiary system aiming at transforming dark into light.
there is a concept which humanity of Earth hasn't yet grasped when it comes to open war, which is preserving life at all costs. Even the lives of your enemy. The ethics of the Galactic Federation of Worlds is based on two main principles, which are the pillars of its foundation free will and balance. Balance stands for justice defined by these words, transforming pain into peace. It stands as well for the respect and the preservation of all life, whatever path this life has chosen. This is based on the spiritual principle that the source of all things is dual and that the universe is held by a dynamic force generated by the fight for balance between destruction and creation. Practically and tactically speaking, when it comes to an armed conflict, the Galactic Federation of Worlds will apply these two principles as such. Firstly, they will give their enemy the choice to surrender or to fight. If fight it is, then they will try to take prisoners to spare lives as much as possible and send them back to their home world if they repent. If not, they are put in detention until they change their mind. Prisoners have free will, in the sense that they remain responsible for their detention. And they are released only when they choose to serve peace, a process and decision that cannot lie or fool anyone because the frequency of their energy field is measured. When pain leaves the force field of an individual, this person finds peace and radiates a completely different frequency. This process of inner liberation from pain is irreversible. Healing is irreversible. Once pain is truly gone, it won't come back. Transforming pain into peace is their very notion of justice. They can free a prisoner only when he has first freed himself from within. This exactly recalls what Commander Val Thor once told. His words take then a deeper meaning and make true sense in this context. We cannot free a slave who holds on to his chains. Liberation starts from within. In the intention of raising the vibrations of all captured beings, helping them reach a more peaceful state of consciousness, no prisoner of the Galactic Federation of Worlds is ever tortured or mistreated. They are shown instead compassion, love and forgiveness. An enemy ceases to be an enemy when his heart truly finds peace and prisons in the Galactic Federation of Worlds look more like spiritual retreats where feelings of hate and anger are eased by spiritual practice. 
In this case, of course, the prisoners must be willing to participate. No one is forced against his choice. These methods are considered to be the most efficient in respect to the free will of all beings. Prisoners are never constrained to follow this path. It is their own decision. Of course, it still remains a detention center, especially for the beings considered a threat to the peace in this galaxy. These places are heavily guarded. No one is killed. So those who decide to stay are in for a very long time. A prison planet is not a world populated by a normal population. It is only occupied by the prisoners and no one endures the presence of the prisoners because there are no victims no populations that are on this planet. It is a prison planet. All the prisoners need is available to them. The bare necessary, not more. These are the ways of justice regarding to the prisoners in the Galactic Federation of Worlds. This method is also used throughout other galaxies. What matters is the alchemy of transformation of pain into peace. Obliterating an enemy is truly transmuting the dark into light.